Hello everyone, and welcome to a Create with Kylie art tutorial video. In this video, we will be painting a single fruit or vegetable using acrylic paints. If you want to say thanks, click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Now let's be creative. For this task, you will need any kind of round fruit or vegetable. For me, I will be painting a green pear. Begin by taping a border around a page in your sketchbook or loose piece of paper. If you have a canvas, you can skip this step entirely and paint right to the edges. Arrange your fruit or vegetable on a simple background with a single light source to simplify the highlights and shadows that you see. I want you to have a simple subject matter to paint so that you can practice your observational and painting skills before moving on to more challenging paintings. In pencil, draw a light contour sketch. Make sure that your subject matter fits nicely on the page and that it is not running off the edges or is too small. For paint, I'm going to limit myself to the primary colors red, blue, and yellow. I'll also pour some white onto my palette. However, do not pour any black paint because you don't really need it. If you mix all three primary colors together, you'll get a rich, dark value that doesn't make your colors cold and grayed down like black seems to do. Color swatches are key. Before you apply a mixed color to your painting, test it out on a scrap piece of paper or on the other side of your sketchbook like you see me doing here. This way, you'll know if you've mixed the right color or not. With many artistic media, layers of application are very important. Never expect the first layer to be the final one. In fact, the first layer is often called the underpainting. Use this step to focus on the values, the dark and the light areas of your still life. Once you have the first layer down, it's a matter of building up the subsequent layers by observing the delicate colors of your fruit or vegetable. For this, I found I relied on the artistic techniques of soft brush strokes with washes and glazes of color to build up the form of the pear. While completing this painting, I want you to carefully observe how colors change to create a sense of 3D form. For example, in this painting, the shade of green by the highlights is very different from the shade of green in the shadows. Even though this is a green pear, I could see so many shades of green, yellow, and even a blush of orange. Take your time sculpting and building the form of your fruit or vegetable using colors. For the background, I chose to use a high value lilac hue. Green is a secondary color and so is orange, which can be seen on the pear and its stem. Having a purple background completed a triadic color scheme. And there you have it, a still life painting of a pear in acrylic paints. I hope that you were successful in your painting of a fruit or vegetable and that you further developed your observational skills and acrylic painting techniques with the help of this video. And until next time, my friends, stay awesome and be creative. Thanks for watching.